Willkommen zurück zu einer neuen Folge von Fly vs. Jerk 14. Der Flusstag ist vorbei und es ist Zeit für die Teams nach vorne zu schauen. Aber bevor wir das tun, müssen wir einen Blick auf das Scoreboard werfen. Die ersten drei Punkte wurden vergeben und ein Punkt ging an das Team Jäger.nu, das insgesamt 33 Hechte gefangen hat. Team Diver war auf dem Top 5 Bot hervorragend und erhielt einen Punkt, nachdem sie insgesamt 506 cm gesammelt haben. Last but not least ging der Big Fish Punkt natürlich an Team Nace Draft, die mit ihrem 15,8 Kilo Hecht einen neuen Großfischrekord aufstellten. Ein absolut unglaublicher Fisch, aber jetzt ist es ein neuer Tag mit neuen Möglichkeiten. Beginnen wir den Tag auf dem See. Fly vs. Jerk 14 wird euch präsentiert von Watzki, euer Online-Shop für Bootsausrüstung in Skandinavien. Buster Boats, ikonische Qualitätsboote aus Finnland. One Boat Network, jetzt alle zusammen. Westgear, ihr Bootshändler in Schweden. Und Big Pike Boats, Premiumboote für Angler. Good morning guys, it's uh, 6.30 and we've just hit the water and arrived to our first spot and soon gonna take our first casts. I'm super pumped for today. Yesterday was a bit tough. Yeah, uh, <laughs> sure. but. Uh, Today is a new day and now we just need to make it happen. Yeah, and try to stay positive. It's still not raining yet. <laughs> That's so, good. Yeah. Maybe um, we can have some really productive hours during the morning. I have a good feeling about today to be honest. Die Teams können ihre 10 Stunden Angeln beginnen, wann immer sie wollen und im Moment sind Markus und Emanuel die einzigen, die auf dem Wasser sind. Okay, first cast. Today is uh, late day. And we're fishing a nice body of water with a lot of structure. And we're gonna fish a few chosen spots very careful and really try to pick out the big fish and not move around too much. Just anchor on a few chosen spots. That's the plan. Oh. <laughs> small fish. What the? F very small fish. Is it only a leader touch? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's super, super small. What is it with the small fish these days? They're going crazy, like catching small fish that you never see normally. Yeah. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Thank you, Marcus. Nice no job. No problem. Erster Klicker am Boot für Markus und Emanuel und jetzt heißt es nur noch ein paar weitere Teams guten Morgen zu sagen. Beginnen wir mit Team Powerboat Mercury. Okay, welcome to episode three. And it's a lake day. We're located in a really small lake and there's a beautiful rainbow. So it's gonna be fun fishing. Yeah. We're gonna catch loads of pike today. We got a strange plan. We're gonna take the number point, the top five point and the big fish point yeah. in this small lake. And there's uh, at least two pikes over 10 kilos over on that lake because I met them both. <laughs> we say hello to them again and all yeah. their kids. Let's do it. Rock Let's and roll. roll. Rock and roll. <laughs> <Wee -hoo. laughs> Yeah, it should be the day today. Yeah. Perfect conditions. Yeah, this is the day that we've been waiting for. And this is the area that we have really been saving for the competition. In pre-fishing, we only fish with the hookless fly. Yeah. And uh, let's see. I mean, this looks perfect for big fish. And there should be some big pike there. Yeah. Oh, they are. Yeah, definitely there is. Now we just have to get them. Hope they're on feeding mode. Yes. Hey, new chervy. New chervy. <laughs> Okay, this is the second day of Flyways Jörg 14. It's the lake day and we are on the spot. What do you think, Andreas? I think we will have to do a lot of cost today. We're going for the numbers and uh, we think we have the possibility to hit a couple of big fish during that. So we've been driving to our spot. Bait fish is here, wind is here. We just have to take them. Yeah. Welcome back, episode three. Lake day. Lake day. Very excited about being on this beautiful lake. Better surroundings today. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. <laughs> I feel more like a home. A home, yeah. Yeah. yeah and it swims really big pike here. So we're gonna do everything in our power to get five big ones today. Yeah. It's and really one huge one. That's the goal. That's the goal today. Yeah. Because we didn't catch yeah. a point no. yesterday. So we need to take two points today to yeah, have a chance. That's what we're going for. Yeah, I saw the fish following, so I made a pause. <laughs> <laughs> These are not the ones we're after, but I take it anywhere. It's a nice pike, so bye-bye. Tiny. Like, what the actual? 
is the problem. <laughs> like, <laughs> they shouldn't exist, these small pikes in these waters. It's so weird. Really weird. I've, I've fished here quite a lot. You don't see pike this size normally. But they are beautiful. A bit purple in the color, this one. Nice fish. So we're basically going to fish the edge and some of these deep holes here. We have a, flow, a slow flow through this whole, this whole lake here. So uh, there is some deeper places and there is also some uh, really nice edges and grass like that. So we are going to fish these deeper holes. We're going to fish the grass. Usually we can have a lot of small fish on the top of the grass and the bigger ones are standing in these grass edges. So hopefully uh, it's going to be a really good day. Let's hope so. 7.13. Okay. Time to rock. Boom. Let's go. Feels like it should be one of those big fish hunting days. Yes. Really looks like that. Well, it's number one. <laughs> oh, good one. It's, it's not the monster, but it's number one. <laughs> I actually thought it was a perch. <laughs> So it's almost the same, same size as the fly here. Yeah. Well, it's number one. Okay, it's uh, day three, lake day, and uh, we're about to make our first cast. So let's get them all. Let's get them all, <laughs> yeah. The conditions are actually really good on this lake, but we're uh, on the day we're gonna have like really heavy rain. But I don't think that's gonna affect the fishing on this lake. It's it's super shallow and uh, pikes are feeding for the winter time. I think we're gonna catch them. Hello to episode three from Fly vs. Jerk. We are not on the water as you can see and I'm alone because Daniel and I, we split up. He prepares a nice breakfast and I go and bring the boat in the water because we start a bit later, around 10. In the evening we had the best fishing. We hope this will be tonight the same. Stopwatch for, for the perfect egg. You need eggs for six minutes and 45 seconds. Yeah, what can I say? We are on a really, really, really crazy water for big pikes. I think it was one of the best big fish pike lakes in Europe. Oh my God. But it's also a bitch. So it's really hard to catch a fish over there. So our tactic today is again, all in or nothing, we go for this one big fish and hope to snatch a point with that. Okay, first cast. Boom. Come on, fish. Yeah. Oh, I had one. There's the yeah. Oh, that was a Ooh. better fish. Yeah. I'm marking. Follow. Oh, I missed one. Oh. Jesus. Up on shoreline. Yeah. They are not in the mood yet. Oh. Oh, fish again. Jesus, I, I start to fish so slow now. They just go up and tuk. Oh, big pike up there. Watch, watch. Yeah, they are here, yeah, but, but you, look at you, this. Yeah. Oh, the fish is so picky now. It's crazy. So welcome to Fly vs. Jerk 14. This is the morning of day two and episode three. The lake day. Today is lake yeah, day. Yeah. We are Team Diva, I'm Anders. Christian Keskitalo. Christian, yeah. And remember, do you remember last year what happened on the lake day? Yeah, it was an amazing ah, day with a 15 hmm. kilo plus bike. The stars aligned for us. <laughs> yeah, this year beaten by the marvelous fish by mm. Team Stroff. Yeah. Congrats, guys. Fantastic. We will try to beat Congrats that today. Congrats from Team Diva. Now we have a new goal. <laughs> <laughs> 60 but kilos. 60 today. kilo plus, but I mean, we have seen such pikes in this lake, so what the heck, why not today? Why not today? Yeah. It, it is a little bit funny because we have exactly the same condition this year as we did last year. And last year we were really lucky, so let's hope for the same luck today. Yeah, that's crazy. It's windy, and it will even pick up more. It, it will be peaks over 15 meters per second. Okay, windy conditions. So I start up with the laser jerk seven and a half centimeters. As we have said many times, this is a lure that you can manage also in tricky conditions, windy conditions, wavy conditions. The color I've chosen uh, is red, because you can always use red. The red is the color of the gills, so F definitely red is something that triggers the fish, regardless of conditions and regardless of water. You can always try something that is kind of red. So this is my startup today. We are on our first spot and we will choose spots that are a little bit sheltered. This spot is a place that the wind is pushing through the islands. 
small, small rocky islands. And behind the islands we have some, some, some grass, some weed, uh, where the bait fish are, are feeding or, or, or resting. And normally the pikes follow. And uh, the sp spots like these are really good before the grass disappears and it gets too cold in the late autumn. It's still okay. We will probably not find many pikes, but maybe we will find a big one and we will go for one big pike. That's for sure. Daniel! I can't wait for my nice breakfast Daniel made. Our big fish guy. I'm looking forward to it and then we go and catch the big mama, hopefully. That's perfect. We live here, right at the water side. Daniel! Ah. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> you guys want breakfast? <laughs> yes. Avocado toast with poached egg, please. You guys are early. I uh, didn't expect you at this time. <laughs> Come on, hurry up, man. I'm hungry. Catching a huge pike, making the best breakfast. I could get used to it. Daniel. Yes. You want to move to Berlin? Yes. Die Stimmung ist bei Dustin und Daniel nach dem gestrigen Rekordfisch von 15,8 Kilo natürlich bestens. Wie wir bereits wissen, ist der Nummerpunkt etwas, das Team Nächstdorf nicht interessiert, aber für Team Jäger.nu ist es etwas anderes. Björn und Jakob haben gestern insgesamt 33 Hechte gefangen, was ihnen den Nummerpunkt einbrachte. Well, day two, Lake Day. And uh, today's plan has been changed many times because of the weather. So, uh, today we're starting off in a very, very small lake, fishing a deeper area with lots of bait fish, hoping to find bigger fish. And uh, on the edges here, we will find smaller ones to get the numbers. From there on, we will move on to another lake, yeah. and then another lake, and then we will end up the last hours of the day, where we have wind, we will uh, try to get the big ones. I will start off, of course, with Hulken. I'm going Gappy in Black Pike. Today is all around the uh, top five and numbers. Yeah. Since we are competing against, you know, guys that are probably in Holland and in the big Lake Vannen, it's really hard to get the, you know, the you big, point. yeah, the big point for, for the, uh, for Pike. So we're getting top five numbers today. That's the plan. That's the plan. Let's, Let's go, brother. Let's go. Cool. Der Plan klingt eindeutig und nun bleibt abzuwarten, ob sie es in den nächsten 10 Stunden zu drei verschiedenen Seen schaffen. Wenn eure Ambitionen so hoch sind wie bei teamega.nu, dann solltet ihr euch unbedingt für die Open Qualification Fly vs. Jerk anmelden, bei der ihr die Chance habt, 5000 Euro und einen Platz bei Fly vs. Jerk zu gewinnen. Weitere Informationen zur Open Qualification findet ihr unter tournaments.kanagratis.se. Der Link ist natürlich in der Beschreibung. Same conditions, same time of year, same come under weather, same spots. Same old guy. Same guy. Same lure. Of course the flash parrot. Remember this from last year, it was a killer yep. for big pikes. Nice one. Yeah. No, but it's a clicker. It's not, it's not a net. Continue, you continue. Yeah, just keep it low. I will, I will, I will still take a little touch because we, we need every fish on the paper on this. All right, all right. You never know. Yeah. You just give it to okay, me. Maybe this is not the fish we are looking for. <laughs> no, no, but it's the first one. <laughs> that was the like day. fourth cast or something. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I would just take will, the leader. Will you do my leader touch? Absolutely. Here you go. Yep, here it All is. Right, thank you. First of the day. We have to start somewhere. Nice. Yeah. Healthy pike. Nice. Anders. So that means that they are here. This is not our the fish we are looking for. And we are here. But we are here and they are here. That means that the big one could be here. I mean, we are on a, uh, on a spot where we have catch crazy many big ones. So, so if that one is here and, and it's striking, then that's good. That's a good sign. So we have fished one hour now. The fishing is continuous as it was yesterday, so it's really slow at the moment. Uh, we have one small fish in the boat and we had one strike. But you have one following as well, so... Well, I had three strikes, I think. Yeah, yeah a fish but there's also. nothing about the big fish. <laughs> but it might change quite soon. Oh, there's one. Good, good. Little touch. Yeah. Like it. Yes, there you go. Thank you, sir. Skinny, but small, but number two. I'm fishing a tube fly. Then there's a magic head underneath. And it's kind of pink and silver. And then I have a Bauer Pike rig, and then there's a copper dragon tail on it. Then I have a bead in front, so it's so it becomes super stable. 
it's a really good combination if there's a lot of white fish in the water it's a little bit per pink but it's really imitates a good imitation of it we are fishing a uh, deep hole um, in a small lake uh, the depth uh, here is uh, down to 10 11 meters with a lot of structure around uh, there's a shallow rock uh, or a rocky point uh, that comes out and then it drops off to to very big depths uh, with tons and tons of bait fish gathering around here looks like there's a leech or roach or some smaller white fish in the middle section of the water and at the bottom you see what we think is perch and around this fish is where the pike will hunt and feed and eat. 11 degrees in the water so it's a little bit warmer here. We're, we're sitting off around five meters. Uh, up to our left side we have you know roughly around one meter and to our right side down to 10 meters. So we're sitting right on top of the bait fish. We're trying to fish the lure slowly and uh, trying to uh, get the pike to, to bite. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, yeah, first. The hooks. Oh, this is a good one. This is a good one. This is a good one, Jacob. I saw it. I saw, I saw the head. This is a meter plus. This is just what we need today. Get under my rod. With I will, I will, I will. No worries. Oh, shit, it's strong, man. You ready? I'm ready. Just reeling. Oh, this is under the boat. Yeah. Whoa, 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 get up, get up, get up, get up. Get up. I'm, I'm taking off the yeah. trolling motor. I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Yes! Yes! Boom! <laughs> yes! Woo! That's, that's what I call a first pike of the day. <laughs> really good, Jacob! Ah. Oh. Woo! I was worried there, you know, I... There was a hook that got off. You know, when you feel it... Yeah, I, it, I like, know, I know. I was like, no, 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 no. Booyah! That's nice. the first pike. That's the first pike. Fish, fish, cast, cast, cast. Yes, I will. Okay. Didn't manage to do a PR. It took three casts. But still, third cast of the day and look at that. This is such a beauty. This is high. I think we are ready for you. Yeah, let me just reel in then. Oof! Ah, I just missed one. Really? Ah, I just missed one. Yeah! It came again, it came again. Doesn't feel as big, but it still is a pike. Ah, oh, no, 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 come on, come on, come on. Something is happening. I can feel it, something is happening inside this. This is, this is, this is, this is, this is. Ooh! It's a nice fish, man. It's a nice fish, it's a 90 fish. What a start! What a start! What a start! <laughs> That's a 90 fish. I got two. I got two chances on this one. This totally inhaled it. Totally. Yeah, you got rock new. No. Ah, it's back in the game. <laughs> this is pike fishing, baby. <laughs> this one is so heavy. <laughs> this is pike fishing. This, that's a decent fish. Yeah, it's like food. Yeah, this is food. <laughs> I love this. Yeah, come on. Oh, that's a big fish. Okay. This is, yeah, there. One, ten, exactly. There it is. There it is touching. Yeah. One, ten. It might, yeah. That's a nice fish. It might. Jacob, it might. you're back. Hack <laughs> <laughs> the tank. Ganze 110 cm of the scale. Mal sehen, was die Waage sagt. It's zero. <laughs> okay, nine two. Nine two. Okay. Yeah. What a pike. Such a beauty. Such a beauty. They did? Yeah. Last look at the beauty. And the beast. Yeah. This one deserves to be under. <laughs> <laughs> Such a beautiful fish. Yeah, man. this is this is pike fishing. This okay. is pike fishing. I wanna let her go now, guys. Yeah. Let's let them go. Was für ein toller Start in Tag 2 für Björn und Jakob. 110 cm und 9,2 kg geben den Ton an. Dazu noch ein Bonusfisch von 88 cm. Jakob. Well played. 
finally we catch some pike. <laughs> finally. Yeah, you know? What a fish. What a fish. This is wow. This is what's gonna do it today. This is what's gonna do it today. Black pike is insane. Yeah. We are what three, four, five casts in. This is the start we need for today. Oh, yeah. I'm feeling, you know, my adrenaline is pumping, oh, everything, yeah. you know. Let's go back I'm, fishing I'm still and a catch bit some more. I'm still a bit shaky. I understand. It's such a beauty, man. <laughs> it's beauty. Let's go, let's uh, go. Yeah. Right now we're fishing in a big school of bait of over 10 meters, trying to connect with some active fish out hunting in those big schools of bait. It's packed with bait fish here, so it looks very promising. I don't know, now it feels small but felt like some pretty decent head shakes in the beginning. Ah, it's too coming too easy. But it should be approved at least. Coming now. Yeah. Nice. Finally a uh, decent fish. It's a good take. It was on the new prototype banger chain. Have a look at this one. It's a pretty nice fish. Happy with that. Finally, look how he really smacked the head. This is the Cisco color of the banger shad. Let's take a quick measurement. Nice fish, 94 centimeter. Let's take another one. Oh, straight away. Nice. Finally. Good job, man. Come on. It's on. So today we're going to fish uh, edges of uh, deep water. So we're going to lay on the edge of the hole and cast deep and cast shallow to see uh, where we can start to find, uh, find the fish today. So that's going to be our tactic now. Yeah. Anchor. That felt really weird. It's not even heavy. It was a super strike. It's no, a it's a fish. catfish. <laughs> it's a small catfish. That catfish took a catfish. That must be bonus points. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Let's check the rules. <laughs> this is a good sign. I just caught some grass, so that means that we are still in the grassy season. So this is a good sign. The pikes, they like this. Yeah, fishing for big pike is about being consistent and to be patient. I'm going to shift between three, four baits during the whole day. Baits that I know work in these conditions, baits that I can fish properly. So I will use this one and I will shift between a lazy and a, and a lazy jerk and lazy shad. Just to learn your baits and how you fish them. Oh, small one. Click it, click it. Ah, ah yes. good. <laughs> good. <laughs> good under. Yeah. That's, the, that's not the one, but that, anyhow. No, it's, it's not the one. It's for the numbers. Let's call this uh, a clicker and nothing else. It's a, it's a bit far away from your personal best, I think. It's a clicker. Yeah, it's, a cl uh, it's not my personal best, no. But I mean, he took this bait. This is a big bait. Yes, a big for bait. such a small pike. So I mean, why would you ever downsize? I mean, I rarely downsize. It's better to upsize because the small ones you get anyway. Well, let's get a leader touch to it. Super tiny one. Get a leader touch, maybe. We don't know how important they're going to be, so. Thanks. Thank you, thank you. Uh, just leave it. Super tiny. Ooh, I think it's raining quite a lot. Für Team Vision sieht es ein bisschen nass aus, aber den Hechten scheint ein bisschen Regen komplett egal zu sein. Bisher drei Klicker für Niklas und Markus. Good morning, we're on the water now. We just had an amazing breakfast, full of energy, ready to hit our next spot. The other contestants must have been fishing for at least two or three hours now. No, you don't know. Maybe they started late as well. The other team, which is also in the Netherlands, could have made the same experience that the fish is more active in the afternoon, so you don't know. But um, 
I think the guys in Sweden, they are always early. I always said it's just this one fish today. Yes. If we are lucky, maybe two. If we are not lucky, zero fish. That's if, quite if, possible yeah. on this water. Yeah, it's, it's possible. Uh, now a really bad thing happened because the way out is just blocked. We are not able to go out because there are some construction wor works. And if we go now and have to bring out the boat to get into the water, we lose two hours, I think. So that would be really, really bad. Dustin und Daniel sind auf ein Problem gestoßen, das sie zwei Stunden kosten könnte. Und das ist etwas, was man echt nicht will, besonders während Fly vs. Jerk. Ja. Go, Jake. You got it? Yeah. It's not a big one, but hey, it's a fish. You love those strikes, you know, when, when you're fishing about 10 meters, you go. That's the only thing you feel. Pick. Oh. Small fish, but it's a fish. Yeah. 80. Yeah. Yeah, 80. Teamjäger.nu fügt dem Top 5 Board einen dritten Fisch hinzu und das nach nur 30 Minuten Angeln. Wenn die Fische in diesem Tempo weiterkommen, werden Björn und Jakob sehr schwer zu schlagen sein. I think it's another fish in the same size. Cool. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, it's maybe even slightly bigger. It's coming. Three, two, one. Nice. Good job, man. Woo! Nice. That's even bigger than the last one. Yeah, it is. So, slowly, slowly moving up. Yes. Same bait, Cisco collar. Maybe I have a new favorite collar. <laughs> ah, natural bait fish pattern is always my choice. This is what it's about. These hard strikes, nice fish. So good. Now it's hitting 99 at least. Yeah. 99. So, like me, not 100% 99. So, good enough. <laughs> That's the first fish. More one. At least something. Is it 75? Yeah, it's. Uh, I think it's 75. No. Is maybe it just. In? Maybe just 75. But. Ah. Well done. First yeah. fish. First fish, not a big one. But still something. We're gonna measure it for the top five, just to make sure if it's over 75 centimeters. Oh yeah, that's 80 something. 82. 82. Okay, 82 centimeters. First fish of the day. Let's take a little bit more yeah. of these and bigger ones. Mm. That took on the like, like the cast number 132. So if we make like 10,000 casts, then we do really good. What was the lore? But built this shit more Yeah. Der erste Hecht des Tages für das Team Powerboat Mercury und es geht direkt in die Top 5 des Scoreboards. Unten in den Niederlanden hat Team Nace Draft mit einem Problem zu kämpfen, das sie dazu bringen könnte, umzukehren und das Boot wieder hochzufahren. If we are lucky, we can go through, but they lifted the, the iron thing, so you are not able to go through. But Daniel, our Dutch guy, our Dutch translator, will clarify that now. I hope you don't need to go back all the way. We are really lucky. Yeah. We are really lucky, that's good. Yeah, it's um, the gate broke. They're actually lowering the water at the moment so we can go. The luck is on our side, we'll see what happens on the water. Yeah. Yeah. Took on a really long line. I know, I know, I know, so it... <laughs> Felt something snatching off. Yeah, I hear you, I'm here. I felt like one of the hooks was, was coming off. It's going deep, man. Now, I'm just keeping it on the water. It doesn't feel heavy. Yeah, but it's going deep. You see the line goes straight down. Oh, I see it. Oh, this is a nice fish. A nice fish. No! Couldn't do anything, man. 
That was so bad. That was so bad. What was bad? That was bad for me. Why didn't I just put it in? That was so bad. Ah, oh, that was so bad. Yeah, but still, you know, that was that was that was all me. That was all me. Stupido, idiot. Oh well. Happens. Damn it, Bjorn. Damn it. My line is in the water, man. I saw it. Yeah, this is a better one. Oh, this is only hooked with one hook. You got one chance. No, 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 no. I'm releasing it. I'm re <sighs> They are so feisty, man. Yeah, I'm trying again. I don't want to. I'm using my thumb as a, a drag. I saw it, it's only hooked with one hook. I know, I saw it. Come on, come so on, come on. Let's not, let's not dance this one off. I try to be gentle with the net. No, 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 it doesn't. I let it go, I let it go. This is what I should have done with the last one. Yeah, now, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Now. Ah, I got it. You know, it, it, they're so strong, you know, they're not used to getting, <laughs> getting hooked. Oh, that time I didn't do the same mistake as I did last time. I wouldn't be recommending that thumb, uh, but, 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 thumb break yeah. part. <laughs> Jigen and the color Hulken. Did you get a second serve on that one? I did get a second serve. Did you see what I do? I twitch two times, pause, then fast. Two, damn, bam. It's not even a you know a huge fish. It's a good fish, but it's not even a huge fish. But damn, that was fighting. You know they are smashing this. You know. Soon there is nothing left of this one, but don't worry, I have more. Oh, it was a nice one, man. Yeah, it's you know decent. You know, <coughs> decent pike. I have 88, almost. Eight. Uh, I actually have 89 here. 89, beautiful 89. Thought it was quite bigger, you know. They're so strong, you know. This is an 89 pike, but still so, still so strong. Ah. God, I love pike fishing. Look at the colors of this one. Look at the colors, you know. Beautiful, healthy northern pike. If you haven't tried pike fishing, you should. Der Platz von Teamjäger.nu liefert weiterhin Ergebnisse und jetzt sind sie nur noch einen Hecht davon entfernt, die Top 5 Liste zu füllen. Die anderen Teams hatten einen eher langsamen Start in Tag 2, aber es ist ja noch Zeit, das zu ändern. Soon the first hour has passed away and we still doesn't have any fish in the net. We have the uh, four contact. Good, good hits. But for us, we are here for the numbers, so uh, hopefully they start biting because they are here. I'm changing baits and see if we can crack the code. Downsize, upsize, rubber, hard bait, blah, blah, blah. Maybe it's all we need is warmer weather. I'd go back to this one. That one, it's one who works best. Until the big ones start to bite on yours. Oops. Number. Number five. I saw that coming. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, well, I, when the big ones start bite at yours. Yeah. Number five. They're real aggressive. That pike was the same size as your lure. Yeah. But we're gonna come across to those big ones also. Those are just pike food over here. We're still anchoring on the same place, you know, just casting around and, and they keep coming. This one, I don't know. And it's so hard, you know. The other one fought like a demon, it was 89. So, I'm not taking any chances. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Here you go. <sighs> nice, nice, nice. We're fishing exactly one hour, and this is approved pike number five. It stopped raining. The wind has picked up a little bit here, you know, and the wind, when the more wind, the pike get a little bit more active. It's not the biggest one, but you know it's pike number five on the paper. Let's see how long she is. 
That's 80. 82. Have we got? Yeah, I have 82. Pike number five, full paper. Pike number six, 82 centimeters. This is full with food. Yummy. But you didn't get, get that one. Okay. Oh. As you see on the outer shot live here, we're, we're parking here just on the edge, fishing the deeper areas around here. The bait fish is stacked over here. So uh, this is where we fish, just casting around and around. We have, you know, spark locked on the exact same place in the first hour, just casting 360 degrees. Now let's take another one. Das Top 5 Board von Team Jäger.nu ist nach nur einer Stunde Angeln komplett voll. Und im Wurf danach rüstet Jakob mit einem 81 cm Hecht auf insgesamt 450 cm auf. Ah, it's around the meter at least. Yeah, nice. nice. Good Oof. job, man. Good bite. <laughs> that felt good. They are getting bigger and bigger, man. Yeah, <laughs> upgrading. Nice. That was a good bite. Ooh, yeah. this is what we live for. <laughs> oh, it's a fat one. I mean, Look I don't. on the shoulders yeah, of that fish. I don't think it will like be a big fish for you today, but it could be cool to just have a, a weight. Yeah, we can check yeah. that one. So this is what did the trick. The new banger shad in the Cisco color. Okay, I'll lift in the fish now. Yeah, I'm ready. Oh, <laughs> you won't believe this about that. <laughs> what, what does it weigh? 10.2. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was like eight kilos. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Uh, well, we're a bit destroyed when it comes to <laughs> big fish, I think, Marcus. Yeah. <laughs> it's like with the 90 fish, we think they are 80. <laughs> Let's measure this beauty. See how long it is. It's not very long. It's more compact fish. Big head, big shoulders, but quite short. 111. Yep. Nice. Great. Look at how chunky it is all the way yeah. in the back. That uh, was my number 55 over 10 kilo was my goal for the year. So I was super happy with that. And my first pike over 10 kilo in Fly vs. Jörg. So really nice. 111 cm und 10,2 kilo übernehmen den Big Fish Punkt und damit teilen sie sich gleichzeitig den Nummerpunkt mit Team Jäger.nu. Herzlichen Glückwunsch Emanuel zu deinem allerersten Hecht über 10 kilo in Fly vs. Jörg. Es ist 10 Uhr, es sind noch zwei Stunden bis zur letzten telefonischen Meldung und für Team Next Draft ist es Zeit für den ersten Wurf. I start with the grab. Big lure, 30 cm. Um, yesterday I had a nice fish on it, I lost it. Today it will bring me the big mama hopefully. As a leader, I use a Stroft Fluor Carbon 110 mm. Uh, it's a really nice leader, I love it. Let's start fishing, let's catch a big one, Daniel. Yes, let's do it, man. Are you ready for the first cast? Let's go. Let's get the first cast in. Okay. Are you ready? Mr. Greg, I'm ready. Born ready. 129, 16 kilo today, please. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Good luck. Wow. Good luck, my man. What are you doing? Why are you casting over my side? Because of the wind. But the wind is blowing in that direction. So I thought the... <laughs> Cast wherever you want. If you get a big one, I don't care. Okay, two hours have passed. Uh, we have had a couple of strikes, lost them. And uh, we need to change something. We had super good pre-fishing here, but the fish isn't here. So we're moving out further towards the, the, the open water. And hopefully the fish will be there together with the bait fish. You have to be crazy doing this in this kind of weather conditions. People don't let, let the dogs out. Ooh, let the dogs out. Ooh, 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 ooh. Our strategy right now is to just harvest all the spots before the wind picks up and the rain starts to come. So we, we, we put a 15-20 minutes of, of each good spot we have in this area. And the spots are, as previous mentioned, mentioned these rocky spots with, with some grass between two and a half, three meters. And then we just have to adapt in the afternoon when we get the rain and, and the wind picking up. I guess that at least some of the teams are, are hit by the same weather phenomenon as we are. Because clearly something slows down the fish. So a few of the teams potentially have the same problem as we do. But few teams probably 
we'll find some nice pikes. So we'll see at the lunch report. Probably there will be some teams that report good fishing. Not huge, but Not huge, yeah. One for the meshing board. One for, for the sure. meshing board. That's nice. Yeah, it's pretty heavy, though. So I just ha I have only been catching smaller ones today, so that's a long one. <laughs> awesome. Different sh shape than the last <laughs> one, but it's long. Yeah, really long. Nice. That's for sure above the meter. Yeah. Like with some with some change. Totally inhaled the banger shad <laughs> with a rocket dive stinger. It totally inhaled <laughs> the lure. 105. Yeah. Nice. Beautiful. Yeah, nice fish. 105 on the banger shad with the rocket dive stinger. It took in a long pause. Das Teamhead Banger schlägt mit seinem zweiten Fisch über den Meter zu und ihr nächster Hecht über 75 cm wird Teamjäger.nu den Top 5 Punkt stehlen. Dustin. Ja. Yeah. We're fishing underwater desert again. Again. No plants, sand, here and there, a little leftover bush. Yes, no bait fish at all. <laughs> Perfect oh, condition. Yes, but hopefully <laughs> big monster. Casting these big lures. This one is 220 gram. We cast this with a mouse. You have easily 250 gram. You need a line you trust in, which is really strong, because if you get one backlash, the lure is gone. And even with these hard rods, you set a proper hook. You need to trust in this line. And for me, the perfect line is the Stroft R line. It's really robust and perfect for this kind of fishing. Obviously, using the Maze Runner again, it did the trick yesterday. Fishing this plateau, he's using big, I'm using small. Searching for the pike here. There's a lot of plants you can see on the sonar. Let's get back to it. Let's catch a big one. I think everything is quite perfect. Wind, wheat, the drift is nice. Might look like I'm fishing fast, but we're actually drifting with the wind and I'm fishing towards. So I have to wind in fast to keep up. And what I'm doing now is I'm presenting the spinnerbait just 50 centimeters above the bottom. Every now and then I hit the bottom, scoop it up a little bit, try to get a reaction strike. I think at the moment, steady retrieve is not the, the best thing to do. You have to trigger them every once in a while. A lot of times, Spike will follow your lure, look at it from a distance or like, a meter. Oh, yeah, fish! That's what I mean. Big one? Mm. I don't think so, but it's a pike. It's not huge, but it's nice enough. Just net it for sure, to be sure. He's a strong fella. <laughs> Look at him. There we go. Nice. Think it's something for the board? I'm just gonna measure it. It's not big, but I just need to be sure. It is under 70. It's like 69.5. Beautiful fish, lovely colors. Let's get her back so she can grow. Better than yesterday. Took us a while to catch a fish eight yesterday, eight hours. Now it changed to an even bigger one. It's a Daniel fly, a Daniel mouse <laughs> with our I would, grab. I would call it a twist fly or something. A twist double, fly. double twist fly. Double twist fly. Yeah. Right, guys. A slight, not change in tactics, we've been planning to do this, but uh, we're having some fun now fishing the shallow parts, the shallow base uh, of the small lake. Um, we expect to catch some smaller fish, uh, but hopefully some larger numbers. Uh, there is a report coming up soon and it would be really nice to have a good number of fish to maybe disencourage the other teams to go for numbers. Um, as well as uh, where we do have some decent fish on the paper as well. Uh, so the plan is to catch a couple of more, uh, a couple of smaller ones uh, probably, uh, and then go back to our deep hole and keep hammering the big fish there. Gonna fish this quite fast, about 45 minutes, and then go back to our deeper areas to uh, catch the big ones again. Är det okej okay, eller? Jag vet inte. Ah, jag tror inte. Nej, det är inte. Jag tror inte jag tillbaka. Jag vet, jag ska bara få hit den först. Nej, jag fattar. This is what happens when you fish igen. Hello! We went in to fish for numbers, but... 
Look what's in the net, an upgrade. This is maybe, this is 90 fish, I think. This is 90 fish. Let's measure and see. I've got, wait, I've got 93 there. Yeah, that's, that's actually a decent result before lunch. We have, we still have, we still have a little bit more than hour before lunch report. So, and we will go out to deeper areas to fish in the last hour, hopefully to improve our top five and the numbers as well. Die Top 5 muss noch etwas verbessert werden, denn jetzt ist Team Headbanger wieder am Drill und es ist möglich, dass dieser Fisch sie über die 5 Meter Marke auf dem Top 5 Board bringt. So now they meet the fish at least. Okay, 3, 2, 1 and go. Yeah, nice. Good job, man. Oh, it's, it's thin. Our new strategy is the best. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, that one felt so heavy. Was like, it a good bite? Yeah, crazy good bite. I'm a bit like shaking because it felt a lot heavier than the first one. But now I can see now that it's not as big, but still, whew, what a take, what a fish, what a day. Okay, let's measure it. There we have 110, perfect. Der Mittagsbericht rückt näher und wir sehen, dass es große Kontraste auf dem Top 5 Board gibt. Team Headbanger zerstört die 5 Meter Marke komplett und das nach nur 5 Stunden Fischen. Und gleichzeitig kämpfen 5 Teams darum, ihren ersten Hecht auf das Top 5 Board zu bekommen. We are in, in a super spot. Let's see what happens. We are fishing a little bit differently, unless with a lazy jerk. And uh, try to cover this area really carefully, because we know that in this condition, in this wind, there should be a big fish in this spot. Super excited and, and prepared for a counter strike. Let's see. That was a 10 kilo fish. Did you see that? I see, yeah, yeah I, I, was I saw a... it for sure, yeah. On this one. That we, was a... we needed that one. That was a big one. I did see the complete fish and you also. Yeah. yeah. Because it, it came up and took this and 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 and, and aired <laughs> yeah. after that. Uh, pff, that was enormous. Definitely a potential 120. But on the other hand, it shows that these tactics that we are using right now go for this one big fish, even though we we really don't hurts, see that much hurts, action. Hurts, hurts, hurts. Maybe this is the best way to do it, even oh. still. Yep. Fish? No, I don't know. Swimming towards me. I can be a net. Ah, it's swimming towards me. Ah, it's a net fish. Oh. There it is. Yeah, yeah. That definitely made a fish. Me a fish? Ah, not really, maybe. It's definitely a fish that needs to be netted. Uh, I don't know. Maybe it was. Uh, <laughs> no. I ate it. It's Sorry. not a meter fish. Sorry? Not a meter fish. No, but it was super yeah. strange because it was like... It was uh, swimming towards me and then I just saw a nice flash. So. Good, good. Hey, number five. Number five? Uh, Sorry. That's the smallest meter fish I ever caught. <laughs> <laughs> You know what, I let the fly drop down and I was untangling. Yeah, I know. And bad. then I lift my fly up from the bottom and it took. So. Yeah, that's why I thought it was weird. So it might be that we need to fish extremely slow. Is it 75? I sure hope so, otherwise I'm, I'm really going to be embarrassed. I don't think we need to wet this because it's quite wet. <laughs> oh yeah. 76, baby. Oh, cool. <laughs> 76, what a monster. I could easily go for just this, this kind of fishing and, and hope for that bite because even, even though we might get a few ones on the rocks outside, to get a really big one, I think we had a better chance in, in, the, in, the, in, in this kind of bait fishing. Yep, here it is, net, it's a huge one. This is the one unders. 
I'm here. I'm here. Yep. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, this, this is a pike. This is a pike. I need to go forward. I need to go forward. This is a pike. Is it on that combination? Yes. That yes. crazy Ivan combination. Yes, All yes. right. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, which side do you want it on? I, I can't decide. It's up to the pike. Are you ready? I'm ready. I have to go. I have to go. Sorry. It's coming here. It's coming here. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Off the dead lost one. Finally. Finally. Not that big, that's the first one I, I lost. But, but um, I, hey, we have found the method. We cracked the code. We cracked the code. That's a fair fight. We bike. cracked the code. Okay, let's Freaking measure and scale Let's it. do it. Let's do it by the book. That's a good fish. It is a nice one. Maybe it's a little bit too short, but we'll see soon. Let's see, let's we'll see. see soon. On the lazy distance with the lazy paddle tail, really makes the, the, the bait to roll like this. Uh, and that's, that, is, is very, that is very nice because it makes a lot of sound and also imitates a, a, a fish that are, are, are hurt and easy to feed. Okay, are you, are you ready? Yep, I'm ready. It's a Ooh, Ooh, that's a beauty. That's a beauty. And it's... 117 or no? Back back fin, back fin. How long is it? Ah, it's, it's 115. 115. No 116. One at least 116. 116, 116. Right? 116. This might be 10 kilo plus. Yeah. Should be with that belly. Yeah, with that length and this belly and this head. So it, it could Should be. It could be. There we go. 12 point okay. zero zero 04. Four. With the sling. With the sling. With the sling, just saying that. 12.04. Really nice. Okay. 10.46. Okay. 10.46. 10.46. It was a 10 kilo bar. 116, 10.46. Heilige Mutter Maria. Christian Keskitalo macht es wieder. Team Diver hatte den ganzen Tag mit starkem Wind zu rechnen, aber das hält sie nicht auf. 116 cm und 10,46 Kilo ist der neue Topfisch des Tages. I release her now. The beauty after a tough morning. We now have a beauty in the net. And we will release her here. Oh. That's a boom kind of fish. What 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 else can you pull up from from somewhere? That's a crazy bait on a crazy day from a crazy guy. Yeah, and, and, lost, and then and I lost a big one before. On the same few day. minutes before. Freaking it's even a bigger one. But. And he does it again. Yeah, we are here. We are here. The weather conditions are perfect. It's windy. It's from the right direction, southwest. Uh, usually in the Netherlands, this is the right direction for me for pike fishing. And uh, I just had three bites. I'm not sure. I think it was small. You never know. Three bites in one cast and didn't hang. Could even be a decent one, man. You got three bites, caught one fish on the spinnerbait. Mm. The fish seems to be active. That's yeah. not, not too bad for this water. No. Uh, but maybe I changed the spinnerbait as well. Yes. Like, yes. No, and, and also, if we keep catching, uh, keep getting small ones, we should move and see if the fish are act active on the deeper water yeah then we can find the really big mamas yeah but the 128 was quite shallow yesterday one and a half between yep. one and a half and two meter i have to say right true and not even on the edge to the deeper water it was right in the middle the of the yeah it was just like this yeah hey guys first fish in the boat not easy so far but we went to a spot that Andrea has caught some really nice ones and you know we were so focused for one big fish and but we are happy for this one. Good strike? Yep. So small. But hey, it's the strike. Yeah. I don't think we measure this one. Bye bye. Why is that guy living out here? It's crazy, yeah. This is a big, big uh, fish spot. Oh, you're so focused. And when you have the strike, you think now. But that's pike fishing. No, oh, I got it. Yeah. 
fish. Yeah. This is a net fish, I think. It feels heavy, but I don't know. I think I bring it up. No. This is a big fish. Good. Yeah, that's over. Over 75. Yeah. Just look, he swallowed the whole shit. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Passi made a front mode for the active target from Lawrence that's uh, really effective. There is one deep hole here in this lake, holds like four meters. Yeah, and it's really small. Yeah. Yeah. But it holds two big predators. The first one we missed, the second one yeah. is here. Shatis. Yeah. Shitmurten. It's working really well now. We got the nose there and the tail goes to... 94. Know, 93 or 94? 94. The lower part goes to 94. Yeah. Yeah, it's touching there. 94. Okay. Okay. We'll let her go. Yeah. You're getting closer to the bigger ones. Yeah. Yes. Oh. That was a good one. Right. No, it's not huge, but. Good. Okay, good one. Oh. Getting there. Close them out. Uh, it's uh, 80, 80, 88. Yeah, good. Okay. Seems like fish are activating. Fish we yeah. had a one maybe meter fish. Yeah. And so then I lost I had that a one. Bite, and then that's probably the one that took yeah, my flight. We come into a good area and the weather is changing a little bit. So let's, go get let's see what happens. We are slowly feeling like the fish is starting to uh, to become a little bit more active. We had quite heavy wind against us. It's this, as I said before, it's a river up here and then this is like a big lake, but the, there's some flow through it and uh, it doesn't seem like they like that at all. The rain is just stopping now and uh, we're actually going to have no wind uh, for a few hours and it's going to change to northwest, which is the most common wind here. So let's see if things are going to activate a little bit. It feels like it's better. Marcus just had an 88 and he lost a bigger fish and we had some bites now and yeah, it's super slow compared to this place usually, but let's see if we can have a really good afternoon and a crazy Thursday and then we might turn things around here. We got eight fish, so it's not super slow in numbers, but it's, but it's slow. <laughs> it's a decent one, but it's not huge. Yeah. Let's hope it's uh, we can change that 90 Four. Yeah, yeah, it's it's bigger than that. I'm pretty sure of that. Are you ready? Yeah. Oh yeah, it's big. It's long, Marcus. Really long. Here it comes. Yeah. Ooh, yes. Nice. That's the biggest of today. <laughs> Think so? Yeah, for sure in length. Oh, nice. <laughs> Good net, man. Good job, man. Easy 115. Oh, really? 116. Wow, our longest fish for today, 116. Maybe we need to take a measurement of this one just to be sure. Yeah. It's not as fat as yours, but it's longer, so. Nice, no, really nice fish. Yeah. Well, uh, <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah. On the rockerhead dive. Bang a shad with the rockerhead dive. Way. So, just to be sure, we're gonna take a quick wait on this fish. Looks a bit skinnier, but it's uh, quite a lot longer than the one I caught. So I think they're gonna be not too far from each other in weight. Und Emanuel hat recht, es war sehr nah dran für ihren größten Fisch, aber leider auf der falschen Seite der Leine. Aber immerhin ist es ihr zweiter 10 Kilo Fisch des Tages und 116 cm geben ihn insgesamt 541 cm auf den Top 5 Board. Hut ab Jungs und herzlichen Glückwunsch zu einer verrückten ersten Hälfte des Tages. So we were here at free fishing and then we had millions of reams here swimming around, surface, shallow, deep. We saw some pike hunting, we caught a few nice fish. Something has changed, uh, it, there's not the same amount of bream. They have uh, moved somewhere and uh, we don't see as much, much action as last time and I don't know. We, we only had one follower and one catfish. The temperature is good, the wind is perfect, the clouds are here. It's perfect pike weather. This is the best pike weather we have had on all the time we've been here now. Yeah. 
It's a big one. Are you with me? Yep. Ooh. 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 Get I come back. Ooh. Oh, we take her directly. Yeah. Yes. Ooh. That's a nice pike. That's a nice pike. That's a 11, oh. 12 kilo. Poof. <laughs> it was her. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. I'm gonna was, really... Did you see the strike? Yeah, I did it. Boom. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. That's an active fish. Ooh. I'm gonna fix the wasteling right away. Oh, it's a big pike. Nice, Alex. It's so crazy. We we drifting and drifting and drifting, and then we see a, a little bump when we sta stood in the front, and he cast it, and the tail had gone with the hook, so it was like a blob, and she went up, and and then she swam away, and then we found found her again, and then she took. No, she's not so heavy, and she's not so long. She's kind of long. <sighs> 11.30 or? Yeah. yeah. Okay, take the me measuring board. She's long. 120. 120. Yeah. A 120 on 11.3. Nice back, but uh, she's kind of skinny. Ooh. Nice, Alex. Mr. Delivery Man. That's nice. <laughs> now we need four more. <laughs> yeah. But it's uh, that uh, maybe not uh, will hold the weight uh, either. No. But it's a good start. Schaut euch das an. Nach einem super langsamen Tag mit nur einem Wälzernetz bekommt Team Leech Gator einen fetten 120 cm Hecht von 11,3 Kilo. Es ist jetzt 12 Uhr und es ist Zeit, die Teams für einen letzten Bericht anzurufen. This is uh, team Catch with Care. Only two fish, not any decent ones. Where are you? Middle of Sweden. Okay, nice. Team Nace Stroft. We are in the southwestern part of Holland in a big lake. And we only had one pike and nothing for the board. Okay, this is Niklas from Team Vision. We have 11 fish. Well, a small top five, I think it's like 160. And uh, the biggest fish is probably three and a half kilos. Okay, we're in the north of Sweden. This is purple mercury. We're located in the uh, middle parts of uh, Finland, freezing our ass off. We have uh, eight fish and the biggest one is five kilos and 50 grams and uh, two on the measure board, so 176. Uh, hey guys, this is Jacob from Team Jigar. Uh, we are in the northern part of Sweden. We have eight fish. The biggest one is 9.2 kilos, and Whoa. the top five is 462. This is uh, Emanuel from Team Headbanger. We are in the northern parts of Sweden. Uh, we have a total of 11 fish. Our top five is 541 centimeter, <laughs> and our biggest fish is 10.2. What? What was the top five? Biggest fish, 10.2. Top five, five, four, one. <laughs> Good job, guys. That's, that's nice, boys. Are you kidding me? Okay, guys, this is uh, Christian Keskitalo from Team Daiva. We are located in, in South Sweden. And we have a number of three fish. Uh, total length, 116, 116. And the top weight, 10.46. 10.46. This is Victor from Team Leech Gator. We are in the northern part of the uh, Netherlands and we have one fish on the board and it's 11.3 uh, kilo and 120 <laughs> centimeter. Ah, good oh, guys. Good, good job, boys. Big fish team. All right. Oh, crazy. This is crazy. Well All right, good job, boys. See you at Sport Fishing Fair. Take care. Take care. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. Good luck. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Okay. Nice. Well, we have the top five points, yeah. right? And also we are 
on a tie for the number point really? with Team Vision, <laughs> I think. Yeah, <laughs> I think so. <laughs> but for sadly, okay. we're going to need to run numbers. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> well, great fishing, guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so 11.3 kilo, 120 or 541 points. It will this be is unbeatable, 541. It's going to be hard to beat 11.3. Mm. Not really. Now we have a new goal. Yeah, we always get new goals. Yet again. Yeah, we, Yet do you again. remember this? Yeah. Do you remember this? We've been, been here same. before. We've yeah, been we've here been here before. before. Last year we had a 12.2, that was not enough. That was not enough. Yeah. Now, now we, we have, have a 10.46. 10 it is not enough. It is not enough. All right. All right. Okay. No goal? More than 11.3. 11, 11 yeah. Let's make it 12 plus. 12 plus. Yeah. Okay. Let's go for that. <laughs> have a sandwich and then we <laughs> go for it. Woo! Come on. This is insane resort. Well, we're going according to plan. We're changing to... Uh, uh, one spot in one different water and uh, hopefully catch uh, you know three or four pike there and then we go to the next water as well um, and hopefully the wind will catch up and uh, we will have a like a window of opportunity the last two hours okay. just but let's go yeah let's do it let's, let's do, do it. it so we have the biggest fish yeah and but Jesus, good fishes have been caught today. 10.46, 10.2, 9.2, 5.41. And that's, that's a awesome good. headbanger. We need to step it up if we want to take Four that. Four fish more. Yeah. 11.3, it's not like safe. From the spot we are now, like 40 meters there, there lives a bigger one. Yeah, we have seen it twice. Yeah, twice. One, once on pre-fishing and once in the morning. Yeah. See you guys in the next episode. We'll fight for it. We will see that. We truly will. Let's go, buddy. Yeah, come on. Let's go. Follow us in episode 4. See you. Yeah, bye. Meine Damen und Herren, Episode 3 ist vorbei und was für eine verrückte Folge es war. Team Leech Gator hatte den größten mit 11,3 Kilo. Es gab heute keine großen Zahlen, über die man sprechen kann, aber im Moment hat Team Vision einen Punkt, nachdem sie 11 Hechte gefangen haben. Die besten Zahlen gehörten heute Team Headbanger mit einem beeindruckenden Top 5 von 541 cm. Ich hoffe, ihr freut euch auf die nächste Folge nächste Woche, denn ich kann es kaum abwarten. Mein Name ist Nick Edler, danke fürs Zuschauen.